Let's get those rounds onto your Raspberry Pi. And once we do that, the ROMs should show up at the front end. So yeah, without further ado, let's get going. Okay, so first thing that we have to do is you have to make sure that you have to that you have a solid network connection because we are going to transfer all the ROMs over to the Raspberry Pi over your network. And in my case, it's going to be Wi-Fi. So how we do that is we just go to File Explorer. We go up here and then you type in double backwards slash RetroPie or you can type in the IP address. I am doing RetroPie, typing in RetroPie and just press enter. And you should be in the Raspberry Pi, the RetroPie directory, boom. And then you, you search for the ROMs folder, which is right here. And you should see a whole bunch of ROMs folders. Let me zoom in for you. Yep, a whole bunch of ROM folders, empty. That's why no ROMs are showing up in Emulation Station. So we're going to fix that. In my, in my example, in my case, I will be transferring over an NES ROM, and it's Rad Racer. So, yeah. So you'll open up the corresponding folder, the respective folder of your game. I have an NES game, so I'm going to drag it over into the NES folder in the ROMs directory on the Raspberry Pi, RetroPie. Just copy it in, and it's simple as that. Just X out of it, and then we'll head back to Emulation Station. Okay, we're at the front end. We're back. Now we have to restart Emulation Station in order for the ROM to show up. Restart Emulation Station. And then we should see the ROM. ROM, man. In this case, it's the ROM. And boom, profit. And then you just press A button. And then Rad Racer, here's how you launch it. Just press A. And go with Rad Racer. And that's the basics. That's how you put ROMs onto your Raspberry Pi, running RetroPie. And that's how you launch a game, simple as that. So feel free to leave any comments or suggestions to other videos. Um, I'm open-minded. And be sure to like and subscribe, like always. Hit that subscribe button. Thank you.